Hi, everybody. It's Rebecca Virginia, and today we are jumping right in to the DIYs. Most of these today are going to be napkin decoupages. I'll show you a couple different techniques of applying the napkins, and we'll also do a fun DIY using some of the Christmas wrapping paper that's currently out at Dollar Tree. For this first bowl, we are actually going to be taking a candlestick holder and a bowl from the Dollar Tree. And to get them both to match, I am coating the candlestick holder in some of this white chalk paint. And I also gave the bowl a coat of chalk paint too, just so that our napkins would decoupage a little bit nicer onto them. To accessorize the candlestick, I went around it with some red and green dots, and then I moved straight on to the bowl. So to decorate the bowl, I started off with this napkin with snowflakes and snowmen. The snowmen are going to be the main focal point of our decor piece, but I also wanted some snowflakes too. I took a wet paintbrush, just dipped it in a little bit of water, and went around the image that I wanted to decoupage onto the bowl. This way you're able to tear it a little bit easier. You could just use your fingers to tear it. I grabbed one of these plastic kind of spatulas that I have from Cricut and just used that to really scrape away the excess napkin. From a lot of things that I've seen on Pinterest and TikTok, when you do this pulling apart method, it just decoupages a little bit more seamlessly onto your surface rather than if you cut it out. Now for our snowmen, I kept some of that blue background and then I did the same technique, taking that wet paintbrush and just going all around our image. And then I went on pretty traditionally just using Mod Podge. I layered a little bit of Mod Podge down, then placed my napkin on and put the Mod Podge on top. It's always a little bit more difficult when you're decoupaging on a curved surface rather than a flat surface. So I just really made sure to go sparingly on the Mod Podge so wrinkles didn't form. And I also added some more of those snowflakes onto the candlestick part. The last big step here is adhering the candlestick to your bowl. So then you actually have created your decor piece. So I went ahead and did this with some hot glue. I would also recommend adding a little bit of E6000. I use this as a candy dish. I actually placed down some filling from Joanne Fabrics in there and some fairy lights, but you could fill this with whatever holiday treats that you want. Instead of napkins in this DIY, we're going to be using some wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. I love this sign as a freestanding piece of decor, but you could also add a hanger on it and put it on your front door or throughout your house. First up, I grabbed this MDF board, which is a reindeer cutout, and using a flathead screwdriver and my hair dryer, I was able to loosen up the glue. So I separated this into three parts, the nose, the deer silhouette, and the antlers. And for the actual deer face, I went in with some brown stain and laid that all over our deer head. Then for the nose, I took one of my napkins that I had and it's a poinsettia on it. And I just laid some Mod Podge on the MDF circle. And then I put down the napkin and put some more Mod Podge on top. I was using a paintbrush, but my fingers worked even better. Now for the ears, we're going to be covering them in wrapping paper. I picked this one up. I thought it was so gorgeous from the Dollar Tree. I love the silver and gold. And of course the deer is going to fit very well on this deer sign. I just traced it all out using a white colored pencil. Kind of works a lot like chalk because you can really rub it off. So you won't be able to see any of your colored pencil lines. And then once I cut these out, I just laid them on top of the MDF antlers using a glue stick. I did the same thing to the right side antlers and then grabbed my hot glue gun to piece everything back together first laying down the nose and then hot gluing on the antlers. And once I did this, I thought I was done, but the deer was looking a little bit bare, so I wanted to add on some more embellishments. I wanted to keep this kind of woodland and rustic looking, so I went with the burlap bow and then a jute bow on the inside of that. 
and still wanted a little something, so I decided to add some eyelashes to the deer, and that really pulled together the entire look. Once I actually figured out how to correctly do this DIY, it was really fast and really easy. So you can learn from some of my mistakes, which I will show you in this next DIY and show you how you can create your own custom candles using a napkin. So I picked up these candles. They came in a pack from the Dollar Tree and this napkin is also from the Dollar Tree. It was a two ply. So I did pull it apart to make sure it was just one thin sheet. So I had read all over that you could use a hair dryer to do this, but as you can see, that absolutely did not work out for me. It was flying everywhere. I think a heat gun would work, but the hair dryer was just a fail for me. So I had also seen some women do this on Pinterest using their iron. So I just grabbed my little Cricut heat press and put it on the very lowest setting. I would recommend wrapping the tissue paper in parchment before putting down your iron or your heat press on this. I unfortunately was out of my parchment or butcher paper. So I did not do this. Nothing happened with my heat press. I think the only thing that might happen is you might get some of the wax from the candle on it. So do be careful of that. Again, really recommend the parchment paper. Do as I say, not as I do. But the napkin melted so beautifully onto this candle. It looked seamless. The white of the napkin pretty much evaporated into the candle. So all you see is the greenery and the holly berries. I absolutely love how these came out and you could use any napkin pattern that you wanted and really create your own custom candles. I would be very careful if you're going to light these. I'm just doing these for decoration and then I immediately blew them out afterwards. So if you do use these, please just be careful. Next up, we are decoupaging a wood block from the Dollar Tree and turning it into a Christmas present. But the best thing about this DIY is that I am trying out a brand new technique that I have never done before when it comes to napkins and decoupage. I grabbed my Dollar Tree napkin and the first part was painting the wood block white and then trying to figure out which section of the napkin I liked the best, I tried to get the most greenery I could. Now, this is the really cool part, I think. I am taking some plastic cling wrap and I'm covering the wood block in this and of course cutting it down to size so that I don't have too much excess. Then I laid the napkin right on top of the cling wrap and this is where I had used up all of <laughs> my parchment paper that was left on this DIY. I laid that on top so that the cling wrap didn't melt on to my small iron. Then it was kind of like magic. The napkin completely adhered and I guess because of the heat, there were zero wrinkles. It was so nice. And then just to get off the excess cling wrap, I did just take a little bit of sandpaper and sand down the edges before going over it one more time just to make sure everything was secure and down. The last little bit, I at first was not really sure what I was gonna do with this wood block. I just thought the technique was really cool. And then I realized that it really looked like a present to me. So I added a bow on top to finish off this DIY. After trying out the cling wrap method, melting napkins onto candles, and also using wrapping paper to decoupage with, I wanted to do one DIY that was just a very traditional decoupage. So I grabbed one of these small glass plates from the Dollar Tree. I think you could also pick up one of their glass trivets. That would be really pretty. Unfortunately, my store only had the ones with the images already on them. So I went with the plate. And I'm doing this just super traditional. I cut the image out. It took me quite a while. I was watching a show while I was cutting out all of these pieces of holly and this large poinsettia. And then I laid down some Mod Podge on the plate, placed down my napkin image, and then went over it again with some Mod Podge. 
And the whole time I was using my fingers to really smooth out the tissue paper. I have also seen a technique where you can take some cling wrap or a plastic bag and lay that over the napkin and then smooth everything out. But luckily for me, everything was cooperating with me. I didn't have too many large wrinkles, so I didn't need to try out the Ziploc bag method. But you'll have to let me know in the comments down below if you've heard of that. And if you have, has it worked for you? So then I started cutting out all of these little pieces of holly, but I wanted to use some editing magic because you all know how to cut out images. So I didn't want to bore you with five minutes of me cutting out all of these holly pieces. And I wanted this to be the border around the larger poinsettia. So I'm doing the same exact technique of laying down the Mod Podge and then laying down the holly image and then covering that, of course, with some more Mod Podge. Once all of my napkin pieces were adhered down, I did leave this to dry for about 12 hours. It says that it'll dry in about four to six, but just to be safe, I left it overnight. So then to finish everything off, I am taking some of this dishwasher safe Mod Podge. I never put anything actually in the dishwasher, but it is nice when you're just cleaning it off in the sink to not, you know, really have to worry about if water is gonna ruin everything. So again, let me know if you've actually put these items in the dishwasher, I would love to know if it actually does hold up. And this completed all of our napkin decoupage DIYs for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep searching, keep creating.